Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T, man, bringing you a video today that I know a lot of you have been asking me about. A lot of you been wanting to know my thoughts on it. I told you I was going to pick up one, and yes, we do have a Google Pixel 3 XL in the house. Did I go out and buy this Pixel 3 XL? Come on now. There's no way I'm spending $1,000 on this phone, and we're going to get into that in the end of the video. But no, I did not go out and pick this phone up. A huge, a huge Shout out to my dude, Everyday Dad, man. If you don't know his channel, he does super good camera videos, man. Camera comparisons, all types of things like that. I will link his channel above and in the description below. Google actually sent him a device, but he knew I did smartphones. He really don't, you know, he really doesn't do smartphones like that. So he said, yo, I'm gonna drop the Google Picture 3 XL so you can knock out some content, man. So a huge shout out for you for sending me this bad boy over because I wanted it. Just didn't want to pay that price tag for it. But let's go ahead and get into it. I've been using it for a few days now. My main sim was in here for a few days. And I know you're saying, was, is there something wrong? No, I just got a bunch of devices, man. Like every day I kind of flip my sim around to a different phone. So, but let me go ahead and tell you the impressions so far because my impressions about it isn't the same as this device has been getting on YouTube. I'm not even gonna lie, I really like the Pixel 3 XL. Like so far for me, it's been super solid, man. I guess we can just go ahead and break it down into little subtopics. So the display, the display is a nice display. Now I didn't experience the Google Pixel 2 XL. We already know what happened to that and the screen issues that was going on with it. I didn't, I didn't experience it, I didn't have the device, so I can't really judge a comparison between the 2 XL and the 3 XL, but from what I know, this screen is light years better than the 2XL and I really like it. It's it, The quality is good enough for me. I mean, I think they did a really good job. I think it's a fairly good panel. If I have to have it, if I have to give it a negative anywhere, I'll have to say that it doesn't get as bright as I want it to. And it, and it gets plenty of bright, don't get me wrong, but I have a bunch of devices here between the Note 9, the 10s Max, the 10R, S9 Plus, OnePlus 6C. I have a bunch of devices and this just doesn't seem to get as bright as those now that's not that's probably like a personal issue you know what i mean it still gets plenty of bright in the direct sunlight i can see the phone just fine so i'm not really giving it a hit on the display but ov overall i think the display looks good i think there's nothing wrong with it i mean i think the temperature is right with it it doesn't really have a shift when i look at it i think it did a pretty good job with the panel on this Pixel 3 XL. Now I guess we can back up because everybody always says the Pixel 3 XL is a hideous device. I mean, look, I don't think it's that bad of a device. I don't think it looks that bad. The back is fine with me. The, the different material of the shiny up here and then the matte down here, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I probably would have chose a different color for the button. This little sea green, sea foam green really isn't my type of time, but I mean, it's pretty cool overall. But if I had to knock it on anything, now you know, I don't care about a notch, man. The notches are fine with me, but this notch is just a little bit on the deep end when it comes to notches. I don't think it had to be that deep. And if you're gonna make it this deep, give us some features that the notch has. I mean, we don't even have face unlock. So therefore, what was your purpose of making the notch this deep? I mean, it's I mean it's not terrible. I'm not knocking it, but you can notice this notch out of a lot of phones that I have with notches you notice this one just a little bit more. So that's one negative if I had to give it to it, another negative, the brightness in the notch is kind of big, but that's nothing to dwell on. We already know how the notch game is these days. Performance, now performance for me has been solid. Like I'm saying, I'm playing games on this, man. Even though I don't play graphic intensive games, I'm still playing some games that take a little bit of, you know, a little bit of energy up on your phone and it has been running fine. I haven't had any hiccups, haven't had any random reboots. The phone hasn't overheated. I mean, I've literally let this phone play YouTube all night a few nights ago until I woke up in the morning to go to work. It was literally just, it was just playing YouTube videos and then I woke up and it was still, it was a little warm, but it wasn't like hot to the touch as others have reported. Now I'm not saying that it's not possible. Apparently Google has a bunch of duds out here, but I feel like this one is a pretty solid one so far, man. So performance has been good. I really haven't been getting tons of heat or anything like that. Overall, it's been pretty good. Battery life has been super good for me. I've been getting great battery life from it now. When I say great, the number one on my list right now of battery life is the iPhones. The iPhone. The number one on the battery life for me, man, is the, I'm about to say it again. I'm not, I'm about to say iPhone 16. Let's try it one more time, man. <laughs> the number one phone for me is the OnePlus 16 when it comes to battery life. The iPhone 10R is number two. 
I might have to put the Google Pixel 3 XL at number three, man, because this battery life definitely lasts me all day. I didn't have enough juice to get into the next day, but if you just last me until I get home from work, that's good enough for me. And the Google Pixel 3 XL did that just fine without any issues. Now the fingerprint scanners is okay. I really can't say it's a wow thing. It works, it works fairly quick. I think I've, I've experienced quicker fingerprint scanners, but it still does work fairly good. I mean, it's there, that's a fingerprint scanner. You really can't do much more with it. It unlocks, it's there. It works majority of the time. You just gotta make sure you leave your finger up there for a second because it could say, you know, you removed it too quick and, and different things like that. But overall, the fingerprint scanner's been working perfectly fine for me. I don't really have an issue with the fingerprint scanner. Now, one thing I really, really like is the always on display. Now, I'm a fan of the always on display. I feel like every smartphone these days should have one, but the always on display on this Pixel 3 XL is super dope to me, man, because when you get a notification, it literally like pops up on your phone big and you can see what it is and kind of makes like a little animation. They really did their thing with this always on display. Now, I wish I can see them get updated through the notes and the S9. I wish everybody can get this, man, but I think the Google is the only one who actually has that always on display. It's just dope. I like it. Google has a very good implementation of the always on display, and I'm really a fan of the new style that they have. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the camera because you already know the Pixel 3 XL has probably one of the best cameras on a smartphone. The Pixel 2 XL they said was the best and the 3XL has been pretty good so far. Now I haven't really taken a bunch of pictures of it. I haven't been able to get outside because it's been pouring down raining in Atlanta for days, for like a week straight. I was sick, all types of things like that, man. But this weekend the weather is supposed to be a little bit clear. I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up. It might not go before the weekend. It might go up on the weekend. But I am gonna take this phone out to see how it does out in daylight, in the sun. I really wanna take some pictures of it, man, because I've never personally experienced a Pixel camera. Been hearing great things. I wanna get out there and take a picture. Now, a thing that I did do is the audio recording. Now, the audio recording really isn't the best. My boy Travis MCP, man, if you don't know his channel, check him out. He's another excellent content creator. He made a video about audio hissing, and I know exactly what he is talking about when it comes to the audio hissing because you can faintly hear it. I record a video with the Pixel 3 XL, and then I turn around and record a video with my iPhone, and it was night and day. You really couldn't hear it. Now, those things can be cleared up with a software update, so hopefully we do see a software update from Google that... We'll fix that, but for right now, audio recording isn't the best. And I think the last thing to touch on real quick is these stereo speakers. Now, in my opinion, the Google Pixel 3 XL, my opinion, once again, just my opinion, I feel the Pixel 3 XL has some of the best stereo speakers on a smartphone of 2018. They just get dumb loud, in my opinion. They're really loud. They just sound good. I feel like I'm not an audio person. You're talking about somebody who has regular ears. I don't have an ear for these things, but I can tell you that the Pixel 3 XL speakers are very good in my opinion. I know there's reports of audio cracking and all. Look, I'm not experiencing any of that, man. Now, I'm not saying I will never experience that. I'm still plugging away on this device, but I'm just letting you know of right now, after using it for a few days, I'm not having all these issues everybody been reporting. So I'm assuming it's just depends on the device. If right now, man, I feel like I have a solid Pixel 3 XL. And right now, I'm really liking this device. Now, this is not a full review. I don't want to get into a full review, but one thing I can say after using this Pixel 3 XL and using the OnePlus 6T for a few days is the price point, even though it's a nice phone, don't get me wrong, it's priced too high. There's no way I would go out and spend this, uh, spend a thousand bucks on this phone when there's something like the 6T out there. So I just want to put that in your mind, something for you to think about. We'll get into that because we're going to compare both of these devices because the 6T right now is kind of it's kind of getting on the, the pixel 3 xl it's right on the back man so we will save that for a later video i just wanted to get in here to tell you my quick impressions of the pixel 3 xl so far if you want to see more videos about it let me know in the comment section below hopefully i can get out once the weather clears up once i'm 100 percent because your boy is still about 90 percent when it comes to getting over this cold man but once i get over it i do want to go out there snap some pictures, snap some more videos, and get it all in a comparison video for you, man. But until next time, hit that subscribe button if you wanna come back. We're gonna do crazy comparisons. We have a bunch of phones in the house right now, so definitely hit that subscribe button. You can even turn on a bell if you think, if you like me that much. That's your choice. I'm not gonna tell you to do it, man. You do it if you want to. But turn on the bell, and I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Later.